Well, it's always exciting when you have such a high-level Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioner. This man has been a master of the submission in the UFC, and even though a lot of people know what's coming, more often than not, they're unable to stop. Because the knowledge, the knowledge of the jiu-jitsu game is truly something that it's hard to replicate when a guy is as good as he is. I mean, he will jump for a triangle. He will jump for an arm bar. And as you slam him to the ground, he starts to understand, OK, I'm right where I need you right now. This is when the game starts for him. If he doesn't secure that submission, he gets you where he needs you to be in order to start to really make you drown. It's like going in deep water and getting pulled down over and over again because every time you think, if I do this, it'll make it better, it just makes it worse. And best of luck trying to find a training partner to simulate this guy in the gym. It can't happen, and it won't happen. Well, this guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting from step one to step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep or a headlock or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter holding a professional record of 22 wins, four losses, and one draw. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Yorba Linda, California, USA, Benil Daryush. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 22 wins, two losses, and one draw. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Mateusz! Game Game Rock! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, third man in the octagon for this one. Ready? You ready to fight? All right, so here we go with round one. And on one side, clearly the more well-rounded fighter. Yet when we sat down with him on Thursday, first words out of his mouth, he ain't gonna submit me. I'm gonna try to take him down. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> You laugh just like that because you know how much of a joke this is. You want to avoid the grapple with this guy at all costs. I know he has the bottom. I know he has a big ego. But it would benefit him to fight this fight and make it as easy as possible. And he oh, comes nice through knee. with a big knee. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Close guard. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Daryush. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Daryush gets up. He is back on the feet here. Big ball punch land. Now we get back in range. So both guys landing at will here. Good action early. Nice defense there. Huge block. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. See, now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. 
His opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some real good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Well, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Nice hammer fist. Here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. Potentially working on a leg attack here, DC. It looks like he's attacking a heel hook. He might get a finish here. Wow. Now it's his mouth. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. Both fighters get up now. Oh, the master of the transition. Nice scramble. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this? Big oh. knee lands there. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Plus, right hand is true. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Right at the elbow, why did he land? Oh, there's a takedown attempt. Both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, collar tie. That elbow tie is part of very quick. Look at him drive his shin into the body with that body. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Watch the shot. Fifteen seconds. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Stuff to take down, no problem. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Oh, nice right hand. Oh, big elbow. Oh, and he hip tosses it to the mat. Now we'll see what he can do from here, DC. Right into side control. He's going to try to control him, then find a submission. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position up the bottom. Side control now. Well, you got to stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Keeps the elbow there. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the box. No penalties when they're late. 
Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Doryush. All right, full guard here, DC. What does he need to do to improve position? Well, he's got to start to build his posture, get some damage off, move the half guard, which in turn leads to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you've got to anticipate those movements the moment he tries to move to the next position. You build a shield, get back to your feet, or dig an underhook to try to get a reversal or a sweep. Oh, look at the redness underneath that left elbow. He is badgering that left side of the body. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Just over three minutes to go now. It's now remain in round two. Are right, working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the box. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Just missed with the elbow there. Punch to the body is blocked. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position in the clinch, get fatigued in the process, I would think. It's very taxing to be chest to chest, a position we call pinch. Try to take him down, there you go. Oh, he slams him down with authority. A left hand there from Doryush. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's gonna be. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Well, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Pressure here from top position by Daryush. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Oh, and he's back up again. Those get-ups have been there for him all night. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here. Just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. That's very important. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. And that's the end of round number two. Highlights from which to choose, but his success in that round certainly rooted in his offensive takedown. And that's what he does, right? He's a grinder. He's the type of guy that wants to get a hold of you, drag you to the floor. It doesn't bother him that much if you get back to your feet. He just wants to continue to make you work the entire time because he understands this type of grind most guys can't keep up with. All right, so he's got to be happy with that previous round. He was on the wrong end of some striking exchanges, but that big takedown really turned the top. John, sometimes you can get that face beat up. When you get to the leg, you start throwing your hips in. I mean, perfect wrestling technique to finish that attack. His butt was down, his back was straight, his head was up. When the head goes up, and the body's doing like a rocket ship, it goes up, but unfortunately... Oh, I scramble by him there. Takedown defense on what a punch. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Punch coming. It's 
block. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't a double leg takedown lands. Showing off that leg dexterity and flexibility rubber guard now. I mean, it's unbelievable to watch these guys who are able to break the legs all the way up around the shoulders and just control you. Because to me personally, and I'm no jujitsu expert, to me personally, it feels like this is a position to really just slow everything down. Are there submissions? Yes. But the ideal thing in this position is to slow you down from damaging and really just make you feel more in danger than you really are. Guard here making these shots count. The ground and pound has been there all night. He's putting him in exactly the position he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Oh, going for a leg lock. Nice. Oh, we're getting a finish here. And this might just be a matter of time. He got it. He got it, John. How about it? He gets the win by submission. Beautifully executed there. Best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. So there he is, your winner by submission, and that's exactly how you put the rest of this division on notice. Looks like this guy could be a factor moving forward in this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is called to stop to this contest at two minutes, 20 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by tap out due to a heel hook, Mateusz Gamer! All right, so what a performance by this young man here tonight as he gets the win by way of submission. He certainly put a lot of stock into getting the finish tonight, and he did just that. Congratulations. It was very tough fight, but he knew that if he did everything right, he could get to his position, which is the crown, and he would be able to finally finish by submission tonight. He did just that.